Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to say I have made this video before, but it was it was with really bad sound quality. So um, I hope you enjoy this a lot more better video. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Hey there, everybody. R. S. Linton here, back once again. And today, sorry it's raining, but today I'm going to show you the password lock door. We get to open this door with a password. So guys, first let me just show you how it works. Oh shoot. I don't actually have the password. Pretty much is what you would do is you would throw the paper, whatever password it was, throw it in there. And then it will go through and then open the door for you. When you get back on the other side, you press this button to shut the door. And press it again to get back your password. But, yeah. You'll see soon enough. But what you're going to need for this is three redstone dust, two redstone torches, one redstone repeater, two redstone comparators, two droppers, three hoppers, two buttons, one iron door. And 64 blocks of whatever you want to use. Now, before I start building this thing, I do want to say this is not my design. I will put the link of the actual guy that made it in the description below. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first, uh, let's see, I'll just, I'll just build it over here. So, first is what you're going to need to do is dig a four by four hole, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and pretty much just go all the way around, dig out the middle parts, and then dig down one more, so dig down just like this, all the way around, Let's see, so say we want the front to be going this way, so you can walk in it this way. So you have to go to this bottom right hand corner and walk forward to this third block here. Go over once, get our blocks, whatever we're going to use, and then go up one, two. Make sure you're facing to the left, get your iron door, and place it. So it should be looking like that. Oh, look, it stopped raining, that's cool. But yeah, it should be looking like this. And then, go over here, so go all the way over here, dig out this block right here, place down one redstone torch in there, and go over here to this corner right here, and sneak in one, two, right on top of each other, go back down, get your three hoppers, place them one going into that hopper, I mean one going into that dropper, one going into that hopper, and one right on top. So it should be going from that one, that one, to that one. Okay. So now, get a comparator and make it going out of this hopper right here. So it should look like that now. And then... Go ahead and... Put a block right in front of that. Dig out this block right next to the comparator. Place two redstone, one here and one there. And then go over here. And then make a redstone comparator going out of that block. Or out of those drop no. Nope, out of those droppers. Yeah. And then place your last piece of redstone right there. Going into that block. And on this face of the block. Go ahead and place your redstone torch, and then place a block on top of it, place a block next to the redstone, go to the top here, and what you're going to do is place a redstone repeater going into that door, so it should be closed now, so now it should look like this, and now go ahead and go over here, place a block on top of that redstone right there, get your buttons, place one button there, Sneak and place a button on top of that. Okay, so now 
here comes the actual password part. So just let me go ahead and go to this chest here and get all the stuff I'm going to need. So what we're going to need is 19 pieces of paper, 4 blocks of your choice. I'm using cobblestone because it's the easiest. does not matter what type of block it is. Ah, uh, that chest is not part of it. So you go ahead and place on anvil, and inside, place your 19 pieces of paper, and name it to your password. So I'm just going to name my password, let's just name it dog. Just go ahead and take those 19 pieces of paper. Make sure you take out one of those paper, put it aside, so it should only be 18 pieces of paper, and the last one is separate. And then you're going to have to split up all this cobblestone, because you need them separate. So just like put one in there, name it, it, it doesn't matter what you name it, it can just be random things. I'll just go ahead and take that away, and type in that. That looks good. All of them need to be typed different things, because they don't want to be together, they need to be split. So, and then let's just name this one. <laughs> Sorry. I oh, don't know what I pressed there. Okay. So now you see your cobblestone are split apart. So now, that's what you gotta do. Just go down to this bottom hopper right there. Go down there. Place in your 18. Nope. Make sure it's only 18 pieces of paper in this front one there. And then place it in your four cobblestone, so they fill up those extra slots right there, in your 18 pieces of paper. And then make sure you have your one other piece of paper that's also named the exact same password. And then you can go ahead and cover it up, just like this, like that. And for this part, you're going to have to sneak and place a block. I'm actually going to use the log, so sneak and place it on top of that. On top of that. You can make it however you want, this is just how I'm making it. Bam. So that's mine, how it looks. Okay. And then all you need to do is pretty much throw in your password. Your door opens. As you see, it goes through that hopper down to the next one and through, your door opens, press this button, the door will shut, press this button once again, and you'll get your password back. Press this button to go back through, and bam. That is how you make your password door. Once again, throw your password in there, the door should open, go to the other side, press the button, door shuts, press button once again get your paper back and then press the button to go back through and like if you had a different type of paper it would not work like let's just name it dog and then add some stuff as you see if you throw it in there it will not work and it'll stay in this top hopper but if you just have your actual password and throw it in there it will it's probably because I didn't make it with the rest of them but it should work but anyway guys that is the password automated door I hope you guys did enjoy oh my gosh okay I'm switching to peaceful oh my gosh but anyway guys that is the password automated door as you see right behind me I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Be sure to smash that like button. Because that will be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay speedy. Bye bye.